Hello guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to upgrade to Windows 11 in case your computer is not compatible because it requires TPM or secure boot. In this case, I'm using a laptop that doesn't have secure boot enabled because it has a legacy boot mode. So to be able to enable the secure boot, I would need to enable the UFI boot mode and that causes other issues because if I'm on legacy, my Windows partition, my disk is an MBR type. And if it is an MBR type, when I enable UFI mode from my BIOS, the partition will not be recognized anymore and I can't boot to my operating system. So as you can see here, when I try to upgrade or update Windows 11 through Insider, I get this error and also uh, sometimes it shows me that I don't have secure boot enabled. I've tried multiple times doing that from the BIOS enabling UFI mode. It's really simple, but because my partition type is MBR, I cannot boot up to my OS after doing those settings. In order to fix this issue, in order to try and um, get a solution, we're gonna try to convert our partition from MBR to GPT. This is a process that can be done quite easily if we follow an article from intel.com. But first of all, we have to enter in computer management. You can open up your Explorer, go to, go and right click on this PC and then click on manage and then go to disk management, right click on your disk and then click on properties and then go to volumes and check partition style. If it is MBR, it should be converted to GPT. So that's what we're gonna try to do today and hopefully we'll be able to do it. So we're gonna use a command prompt that we can have access to from the recovery environment. To access that environment from Windows 10, just right click on the start menu, go to shut down or sign out, and then while pressing shift, click on restart. Now after you shift plus restart the system, you will see that on the screen after the process of restarting is finished. Windows will boot up in the recovery mode, which is something really helpful in Windows 10 and any other Windows if you didn't know about it. Just wait this um, process, this loading screen from Windows 10, and you, when you boot up to the system, you will be greeted by this section. Go and click on the troubleshoot button where it says reset your PC or see advanced options. Click on advanced options and then click on command prompt. And here you are gonna have to enter the following command. The command that you will need to enter in command prompt here is mbr2gpt.exe space slash convert. It's an easy command and this command will do the job for us. After you run the command by pressing enter, you will see that the operating system will start doing some attempts to converting the disk. As you can see there, retrieving layout of disk, validating the layout, trying to shrink the OS partition, and it will do some other processes that are needed in order to convert this. But in the end, before the new system can be properly, it says that we need to switch to UFI mode. So that means we successfully converted our MBR partition to GPT. Just exit out from the command prompt and then click on turn off your PC. Now all we need to do is to open our computer again and press the BIOS key. In this case for my laptop is F2, but it could be delete or F12 for you. Check your motherboard and see what's your BIOS key. And once you're in the BIOS, go to the boot section where we are going to select boot mode and select UFI, then go to security, go down a bit to secure boot, enter and then select enabled. After that, press F10 to exit and save the settings at the same time. And then we will be able to boot up into our system without receiving any errors or without the disk being recognized. This is how easy it is to convert an existing MBR partition to a GPT one and now we will be able to surely update or upgrade to Windows 11. And as you saw, it is really that simple to do the process. Now, if we go to updates, we should be able to update to uh, Windows 11 through Insider because now we are using the UFI boot mode and also we enable secure boot from uh, the BIOS. So now let's just wait for Windows update to check for updates it will start downloading the Windows 11 Insider Preview and then 
we will be good to go. We will have Windows 11 installed on our system. And as you can see, now Windows 11 is successfully downloading. We are no longer receiving that error and we are good to go to upgrade to Windows 11. Don't forget that I have a video in which I show you how to update or upgrade to Windows 11, this first beta build for Microsoft. So go check that video out. It will be in the description down below. If this video was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. As Manuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.